What's going on YouTube? This is Garrett here. All right, in this video we're going to talk about uh, this is available conditional and we want to be able to display some fields if this is available and not display fields uh, if it's not available. So uh, this is just for um, an example purpose, but uh, let's go back to our fields here. And under the movies, we're going to create a couple new fields. And, you know, if a movie is available, we are going to want to know maybe how much it costs. So we're going to put the cost and that can just be a text field. And then down here is this conditional logic. And this means that we can say yes here and then it's going to look for uh, other sibling fields that are, um, uh, are equal to a true or false. So it's going to look for that type of field so we can select is available and we can say if it is equal to checked um, we can then display this field that's what's going to happen so then we're going to close this field here and update that and we're going to come down to our movies and go to doors and you can see that our cost field is displaying here and we're saying is available available if I get rid of that cost goes away and then you're not able to edit it you bring it back in cost comes back so let's just say maybe this is uh, $20 all right so we'll put a value in that field now in here we can then say all right well if this get field is available we're gonna say available and then we're also going to say Put a div in here and we're going to say um, uh, the field cost. Now that that's in there, you'll see that that is now showing up. Now if we make this not available, it doesn't show up here and it also doesn't show up Uh, you can see that I got an error there when I did this, and that's because I accidentally made this feel required. So if I come back to the custom fields and go down to movies, uh, I will not make this required. So now, when I come back to movies, it will no longer be giving me that error. And I can save it with a not available. And when I reload this page, see that that not available shows up and the cost goes away. <coughs> All right, guys, that is it for the conditionals on the back end. And then also how to make that display in the front end, which we did in the last video, but it kind of moved over to this one. So if you have any questions, again, leave the comments below. And if you liked the video, uh, leave me a like and subscribe, show your friends, share it around. Uh, that would be awesome.